Hi, this is Daniel with Art Cyclery, and today I'm going to show you how to install a SRAM mountain bike chain. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use a SRAM PC1031 chain. I have the front derailleur shifted into the larger of the two chain rings, and then we'll just get the chain on there and feed it through, get it to about there. Then we'll run the other end over the cassette into the small cog. And then uh, if you have a SRAM Type 2 rear derailleur, you'll want to push the derailleur up here and then press in the lock to hold it in place. That's going to make this a whole lot easier. So then take the chain, thread it through. Be sure to get it up and over that little piece of the derailleur cage and down through here. All right, so now we'll take the chain and move it up to the uh, large cog and back. And then just shift the, the derailleur up to that spot. All right, so now we're going to determine what the chain length is going to be. So you want the chain to be as short as possible, but still allow for free movement of the suspension. And uh, so that's going to be right about here. So we're going to want to take off uh, the link right there because we want to have this narrower link exposed because we have to take into account that there's a master link that's going to replace that section of the chain. Now we'll just uh, push out the pin. So I hold it down with my thumb, hold the chain into the tool, and just turn it in there and push the pin all the way through. It takes a bit of effort to get that initial part started. And once it's all the way out the other side, just back it off. And there we go. Now the chain, we've taken off this little section. Okay, with the Type 2 derailleur in the locked position, I'm going to shift the chain into the small chain ring up front and uh, the small uh, cog in the back. But I'll remove the chain from the, the cassette first. All right, so then I also like to take the chain up front, drop it off the ring entirely so that there's no tension and we have lots of room to get our master link in. Now it's time to install the SRAM power lock master link. So we'll get the two pieces facing opposite each other, bring it together, put the keyed slots into the pin, pull it just a little bit so it holds in place. Take the rear derailleur, we'll undo that cage lock, get the chain up here onto the small chain ring. Then we'll back pedal till we get that master link up and onto the top, pull the rear brake, and then turn the pedal and it locks that connector link in place. All right, so to make sure that you got the right chain length, put it in the big chain ring and then shift up to the, the large cog and make sure that everything's shifting freely. The chain's not too tight. An important thing to remember when determining chain length on a full suspension bike is that you have to account for chain growth in the suspension, where the chain stays actually get longer as the suspension goes through its travel. So we have just enough room for the derailleur to move while it's in the large cog and the large chain ring. If you have any questions on this, email us at info at or just give us a call. 